Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Docker in Ubuntu Server 22.04.3 LTS using the APT repository. Let's begin. So let's check first the version of our server. So do a cat etc release. So it's Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS. Next is to go to the documentation from Docker. So let's go to docs.docker.com. Click on manuals and then click on Docker engine. Click on install Docker engine. And let's select the correct platform for us. And it's Ubuntu. And this is the installation guide on how to install the Docker engine on our platform. So let's uninstall if there is any conflicting packages. So even though I know that there is nothing installed in my server, so but just to ensure, you know, just uh, copy this one and let's paste it. Okay, good, it's clean. Let's scroll down. And then the installation method. So we are going to use the install using the APT repository. So just copy the instruction here. So sudo apt get update. Let's wait. Okay, it's finished. And let's do the other one. Okay, and the other one. Okay, good. So let's do the curl. Copy until the end. Okay, it's done. And the last step for the GP key is this one. Let's change the uh, permission. Okay, next is to add the repository to APT sources. So by using the echo, let's copy this until the pseudo T. Okay, let's copy, then paste it. And then the last step is to update. Okay, good. So let's verify if the Docker engine has been installed. So let's do a sudo docker version. Oh, sorry. So the packages uh, hasn't been installed. So let's go to the uh, second step. So, so what we will do here is to install the latest uh, version. But if you want a specific version, then just follow the instruction here. But for this tutorial, I will use the latest version. So just copy this one, and it will install the necessary packages for Docker. Like yes. Let's wait to finish the installation of these different packages for Docker. Just click on OK. OK, then let's check now if the Docker engine has been installed successfully. So let's do a sudo Docker version. So looking good, it's uh, the Docker engine has been successfully installed. So just to ensure that we could run a hello world, um, then just copy this one and it will pull the image from the docker hub now as you can see it's we have successfully run the hello world sample container and when we check the images sudo docker images here's the image so just to 
um, let's uh, install another container, an Ubuntu container running inside our Ubuntu server. And this Ubuntu server is running inside my Ubuntu desktop. So it's like Ubuntu sitting inside the Ubuntu and then sitting inside Ubuntu. So let's do a, let's run a, an Ubuntu container. So Docker container sudo docker container run minus detach and then the it interactive and then that's dash name let's say bill raise toolkit ubuntu container and then the image so it will pull the latest image let's run it It's pulling the uh, latest Ubuntu image, as you can see here, Ubuntu colon latest. So, yep, it's been successfully um, pulled, and then the container should be running. And let's check the container, sudo docker container ls. So as you can see, the name of the Ubuntu container is Belray Toolkit Ubuntu Container. So if you want to access in uh, the, the Ubuntu container, so just do a sudo docker container exec minus it, then the name of the container, Belray Toolkit Ubuntu Container, and then we go to the bus shell. Yep, we are inside the Ubuntu container. Scott etc release. So it's the latest version that we pulled from the Docker Hub. So you have um you have now an Ubuntu container running inside the Ubuntu server, and that Ubuntu server is running inside an Ubuntu desktop. So in case you have an ops team that will manage your Docker containers, but without giving them sudo privileges, you can create a users for the ops team and add it to Docker group. So they can execute commands without having sudo access. So since I have a sudo access, so let's do a sudo bash and let's try adding a, a, a user. So let's say from the operations team, yeah? But we will not give them a sudo access. So let's let's try to add a user. So let's do, do add user ops team one. And then let's provide a password. Retype the password. full name ops team per se and then yes so if you check the home directory there is now the ops team one so let's check so um, so next is to add the ops team one user to docker group so do a user mod g docker ops team ops team one yep we just added the ops team one within the docker group so let's check id ops team one so yep it's an under the docker group so let's try using the user id so let's do a su minus and then ops team one. So as you can see the user ops team one is now showing here. So let's do a sudo. Let's try using a sudo ls minus la slash root. And then the password. 
I'm expecting that it will show an error message. So yes, so since the opsteam one user doesn't have a, a pseudo access, then we will get this error message. So let's try accessing the, the Docker, right? So Docker PS, as you can see, without pseudo access, the opsteam user can execute Docker commands. So let's say Docker container ls, it's the same command as above, Docker version. So the ops team doesn't need to have a pseudo access. Yep. Let's exit out and exit. Now we're back to our user ID. In my future tutorial, I will show you how to install Docker in multiple servers using the Ansible playbook. That's all for now. Thank you.